Hey guys, it's Ben Ferriolo again. I just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up about Hawaii. The Big Island of Hawaii just saw two very, very strong volcanic spasmodic tremor events. You can see multiple earthquakes as part of the spasmodic tremor events have been reported. 2.4, 2.5, 2.4, 2.4, all in the mid-range twos. Between about, I'm going to say, 40 kilometers in depth to about 45 kilometers in depth in this location right here within the mantle plume. And we've talked about that a lot lately. Going to volcanoes.usgs.gov. Now going over, let's see. Let's go to one of the closest stations to this event. And let's see if it'll open, guys. All right, you can see very strong. Oh, my good, Where did that... What? Where'd that go? Okay, well, let's try this station right here. See if this works. Come on, buddy. Okay. Let's try this one more time. HTCD. Notice past six hours, we have two strong, very, very strong spasmodic tremor events. Possibly the strongest since the ones that I detected in late January of this year, 2019. Going back, and you can see, just by looking at this, you can see multiple, actually two, spasmodic tremor events just in the past few hours in Hawaii. Another one earlier today, I believe this morning. Let's go to TRAD. You could definitely see them right there, and there was another spasmodic tremor event right there as well, earlier in the UTC day for July 1st. Because right now it's July 1st, 2019, 4.39 p.m. Pacific time. Go to DESD, spasmodic tremor events. You can see that right there. Going all the way up to the summit of Mauna Loa to PLAD. Come on, buddy. It's a little slow today. You can see the spasmodic tremor events were seen really well right here. And again, sometimes they do look like surface activity, but if they correlate on seismic stations miles and miles and miles from each other, you know it's definitely a seismic event. Showing up all across the big island of Hawaii, all across. Let's go to SWRD. You can see them here as well. Even all the way up to... The summit, um, actually the northeastern slopes of Mauna Kea, KKUD. You can see the spasmodic tremor events here as well. I mean, look at how far a distance that is, guys. See KKUD on the northeast summit of Mauna Kea. Saw them as well, past six hours. All the way down here near the epicenter. Go to HTCD, which is multiple, multiple miles from each other. You can see them here as well. Let's take a quick look at in the program swarm, just real fast. Here we have data from TRAD, which is right on the southern slopes of Mauna Loa, I believe. And earlier in the day, we did see a spasmodic tremor event. Here, let me zoom all the way out. You can definitely see clear spasmodic tremor event right here, as we have been seeing a lot lately. And I will create an analysis page, which will probably be out by tomorrow night. Hopefully by tomorrow morning, though, because I am working on my monthly volcano update right now which will be on my website on the two new pages, Monthly Volcano Updates and Deformation Updates pages. But yeah, we saw spasmodic tremor earlier. Now let's scroll all the way down. Yeah, look at that, guys. Very, very strong spasmodic tremor events. Let's zoom uh, as far out as we can. Now it looks like there's two right here, right? Well, it didn't really calm down much in the center, so I'm just going to call this one spasmodic tremor event right here. Look at how strong it was and how long this thing lasted. Let's see, it started approximately 2013 UTC and ended at about 2120 UTC. That is over an hour long. Guys, it's been a while since we've seen a strong spasmodic tremor event like this, but it has occurred since about late January 2019 when we saw a big increase in volcanic spasmodic tremor events. Signaling magma is definitely coming up through that mantle plume, guys. And uplift continues for Mauna Loa's summit, the Kilauea summit, and the Kilauea East Rift Zone. Three locations on the Big Island of Hawaii currently seeing a good amount of inflation, swelling of the ground due to the subsurface magma reservoirs being filled. And a lot of the reservoirs, guys, they're being filled. Usually it's like Kilauea will be filled, you know, Mauna Loa will be kind of calm. But all three magma reservoirs, the Kilauea Summit Reservoir, the Mauna Loa Summit Reservoir and the Kilauea East Rift Zone Reservoir, all three of them are filling right now. So we got a lot of magma coming into Hawaii right now, guys. It's pretty crazy. And let's move forward. Don't know when those eruptions will start again, but, you know, it's probably not going to be too, too long. I have to say, I don't think it's going to be too, too long before we see some type of eruptive activity on the Big Island of Hawaii. Here's the second spasmodic tremor event to occur in the past few hours. Let's see real quick. Look at the waveforms. Clear spasmodic tremor event. Go back to spectrogram. 
Let's see, starts at about 2137 UTC and ends at about 2227 UTC, so almost an hour. I'll do a more accurate analysis page like I usually do for the spasmodic tremor events because there have been a total of three in the past 24 hours, with the last two in the past few hours being extremely strong, guys. Let's go back to the second one of this day, which is the first one in the past few hours. Go into the waveforms. Look at how strong that is, guys. The tremor itself is going up to, I'm going to say, maybe 400 amplitude count. But, of course, there are earthquakes that are occurring as part of this. But, wow. Very, very strong, guys. Very, very strong spasmodic tremor event. Keep an eye out for the analysis page. I'll let you guys know when that will be, uh, when that will be put up. And I'm working on that update right now. I hope you guys stay safe. Hope everybody in Hawaii stays safe. And just real quick, just in case, let's zoom to the world just in case if an earthquake happened while I've been recording this. Not too much. We saw an interesting earthquake down in South Africa near Swaziland. And magnitude 3.6, that's supposedly 10 kilometers in depth. A few, there's a 6 in Vanuatu, actually, if I'm saying that correctly. And 99.9 .9 kilometers in depth. And a few other quakes here and there as well. So... Washington State has actually seen some quakes as well. And there was one earthquake up here, not too far from where I live. I live right at the tip of the mouse, right there. So not too far. A magnitude 2.1 at 23.1 kilometers in depth at 11.22 UTC last night, which would be 4.22 a.m. Coincidentally, I did wake up at about 4.20 a.m. last night, about 4.20, 4.30 a.m. around the time that this earthquake occurred. But I do not remember feeling it. But maybe that's what woke me up, right? It was only a 2.1, so it wasn't that crazy. Only a few people reported feeling it, but it occurred nevertheless. And we got some strong volcanic spasmodic tremor occurring in Hawaii. Hope you guys have a great day. God bless, and I will be back soon.